Listen, I'm a lawyer. I'm not your lawyer. Yes. How can I help? It's a genuine question. So if you're riding on the belt line and someone hits you on a scooter, so if you're both riding scooters, two-part question. If you're riding scooters opposite direction and you hit, how do you resolve that? Like, like if, if someone was at fault, like a reckless kid hit you. Um, you have right. to prove that person was reckless. Oh. Uh, Right. It's just like if you're both riding scooters and you're coming down here and you're both riding right down the center and neither one of y'all is doing something particularly egregious, like, you know, sitting down on the floor or standing up or one wheel or things like that. They're just riding down the road. And you both hit each other. It's 50 50. You're both at fault. Both at fault. All right. So if you're walking and someone on a scooter hits you and they're obviously swerving and whatnot, then you still have to prove. That so you're still going to have to prove that the other party caused the injury. But there is going to be at least a presumption that the person like on the scooter was more likely at fault than the pedestrian. Because once you get on a conveyance, whether it's a motorcycle or a, you know, a scooter or a Segway or a bike or a car, right, you're no longer a pedestrian. Pedestrians ultimately have the right of way in all circumstances. So this would be the same as if like, change the question, what if I hit someone with my car? Sure, maybe they darted in front of you and they didn't wait for the crosswalk, but nine times out of 10, it's the car's fault that they hit a pedestrian. Right, so it would more the presumption would be on the scooter. Okay, cool. I've seen too many accidents. I saw a guy lose his finger. He 